And back on the show now, shortly after this summer's World Championships, Wenbo Chen will start a new job as the head diving coach at the University of Minnesota. Right now, Chen's the head coach of USA Diving, and he joins us now on the phone to talk about the present and the future. Coach Chen, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. Thank you. Uh, tell us about uh, why you made the switch. Well, um, I think um, first um, I really missed the college job since I left Purdue, and also um, things about the time for me because my daughter graduated high school pretty soon, and she need to go to college. I think that's a good time for me to back to college, but that loop and help uh, my daughter and everything, finance everything, and and uh, good for my family. I think so that's uh, about the time to for me to switch the job. Is your wh where's your daughter going to college? Is she going to be a gopher too? Um, I don't know. That's uh, one option for her. She might now. Yeah. <laughs> does she Does she dive? No, actually no. Oh. Um. But uh, you know, at least have another option for for her, and uh, if she like go to uh, Minnesota, that'd be uh, great. Well, tell me about um, the, the diving program right now at Minnesota, and uh, what you hope to do with it. Um, right now, as I know, they only have one uh, female diver, so four male divers to return, and so it look like uh, we need to rebuild the diving program. And I know the Minnesota swimming team is really strong. Top um, team is uh, Big Ten and, uh, you know, top 12 and uh, in Stop Bay for so many years. I think if we can have a good the diving program, going to be uh, help the swimming diving team move it to another level. Uh, that's the way I'm looking forward to have opportunity to help them to do that. When you go to a school like Minnesota where, like you said, there's already a pretty well-established swim team, uh, it's not necessarily a diving school like you know, Miami or, you know, some of those schools, Houston, that always have really good divers, but not so much on the swimming end. Uh, what's, uh, you know, what's the challenge of working with the swim coach and making sure, you know, you get some scholarships also to offer to kids and that uh, you guys don't just kind of get pushed aside? Um, that's why the, the major thing, I went there for interview. I asked them, and, you know, how much uh, they support diving. I think the, the swimming team, uh, coaches right now they recognize if they have a um, you know good swimming team also have a, a solid a diving program can help them you know moving to another level and they they recognize this point. So when I went to interview, I asked them a question. They are definitely support the diving because like um, the women team this time they uh, didn't have a one diver compete the Big Ten, but they are still second the Big Ten. And if they have a diver make it some, uh, they only miss the first place to IU about 50 points. So if they have a diver getting some, uh, you know, event on that, they definitely have a chance to win the Big Ten. So that's why they recognize this point. Um, even the women team have uh, like a 17 swimmer go to the NCAA. They got a 12, but they only like a 20 some point behind the eight places. If they have one good solid diver make NCAA you know, top A and NCAA, and they can move up from uh, 12 to to A places. For uh, NCAA, that's make a huge jump. So they recognize that point. So that's why they are looking for, uh, you know, and uh, solid diving program to help their team moving to another level. And, and finally, Coach, since your current position is still with USA Diving and you have some international experience and knowledge yourself, what is it going to take for USA to compete with countries like China and Russia, I mean, it just we're just not there yet on the international level. What's it going to take? Well, I think that we need um, first we need a whole country work together, not just uh, you know, just my club or my school or my divers. We need a whole country work together. Also, need a good system to uh, you know uh, pipeline to feed the good divers and later on to reach the high, higher level. Right now, it seems like we don't have this kind of system. So everybody do their own way, and, you know, and they have, even you find some good talent diver, then you don't have a, a good system to help them and to achieve the, the high level, and you don't have the, you know, uh, uh, formal training, uh, consistent training. So once in a while, they, you know, they just waste of time, can go reach the level to compete international. Look like, a, like you said, like a Russia or China or Australia or Canada. They pretty much right now, the whole country work together. That's why we are really looking forward to 
I uh, just dive, you, you can work together, and then can move another to a level. <clears throat> Good stuff, Coach. Thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate it, and uh, best of luck with the move. Hi, thank you so much. All right, that's Coach Wen Bo Chang, and that's our show for today.